Dean Price at Outback Taxidermy. I'm dropping Claw off. He's actually our taxidermist who's done all of our mammals for us. Uh, you'll hear from Idaho, Caleb's uh, Ibex from Maui, Caleb's big white tail that he got actually here in North Carolina. And so today we're going to be going through kind of explaining the difference in high-end taxidermy and what you get when you really have a premium mount done, the detail that goes into it and what you can kind of expect. Because what I've noticed uh, throughout uh, hunting over the past couple years, especially as Caleb has started doing waterfowl taxidermy, is people spend so much money on a hunt and then they come back and they start penny pinching when it comes to their mounts. And that's something that you're paying that money uh, just so that you can remember that that's going to be something that's going to be on your wall for your lifetime. So you don't want to look five, ten years later down the road and have a mount that's fallen apart or just doesn't have that really good detail. So I'm going to let Dee and myself kind of go through what it is that you can look for in a high quality mount. All right, so we've got Dee here. And Dee, can you kind of explain to us what it is that you're getting when you have a high-end quality mount? Well, what do you like best about my work when you so, bring it over? I love the detail and like the realisticness of it, especially with the nose, for instance. On the higher-end taxidermy, you're going, you're going to have um, the texture added back in. The color is going to be is going to be the actual color, not just a black nose. Um, you're going to have your lip line where, where you actually see the lip. It's not tucked away anywhere. You, and, of course, you want to keep your whiskers natural as you can. Keep them in there. Don't lose them. And then I also add a septum into my nose, to, into my deer noses, so, I, so, you can, so it's more realistic, like a, like a live, breathing deer. Because um, not everybody does that, right? Like some people no, put... It, I can full of filler and yeah. um, just go on with it. And then the eyes are so important to me. That's yeah. what seems to bring them alive. The eyes are, uh, you can get $7 eyes on up to $20 plus eyes. And I use the highest quality eyes I can get because um, it does make a difference in the final mount. And the eyes is what really brings the mount to life, in my opinion. Agreed. Um, and then like even like the tear ducts and yeah, the I don't, fact that it's floating. I don't fill of. the tear ducts in. They're actually in the correct place. And uh, you can see the eye fluid in where, where he's like his eyeballs floating in the, in the fluid. And then there's even so much detail taken into account. It's like their muscle definition. And there's all these wrinkles from the neck, which I love. Yeah, the, the rolls the, or the wrinkles in the neck when they, when they make a turn. Um, hair patterns are very important. With the as far as the 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 white patch being centered, you want your brisket to be centered, not off to the side. A lot of this comes with studying live references. A lot of times, guys take this take this white hair and it'll end up over here because they're not studying their references or don't know to study their references or know what a deer actually where the skin lays. But there's there's a line that that uh, from the black from the brown hair to the white hair that that pretty much gives you detail of how, how the hair patterns lay. Um, and there's just so much detail that you can put into one that, that, that a lot of taxidermists lack. The that's the difference in you know, having a high quality mount that's had a lot of time and detail and attention to that detail put into it versus not. If you're interested in having a really good mount, D can have them shipped directly to him, or you can yeah. ship them to him. Um, we brought ours back from Idaho and from Maui. Easy peasy. You yeah. get these, what are they? You can, you can contact me on, at um, outbacktaxidermy.net. There's information on there how to get your trophy tags, and then with your information on it, and my information on it, to have it shipped back to me or to you, and then you can get it to me. So there's a lot of different ways to do that. I'll put his information below, so if you are interested, you can check that out.